legendary icons into Dead by Daylight. So uh, roll the clip. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, I am super excited today to finally be able to reveal to you the next chapter of Dead by Daylight. As you've seen, we are going into a video game horror classic. We're going to the realm of Silent Hill. Silent Hill was one of the first horror game I played and I was absolutely fascinated by it. Oh, I'm really happy to be able to work with such a fantastic license. Let's start with the map. So there's a lot of really cool locations in Silent Hill. But we decided to use one of the most iconic ones. So we bring you to Midwich Elementary School. The two-story building is filled with thematized rooms, so all the Silent Hill fans will be able to revisit a famous location. There's a music room, the chemist lab, there's the nurse office, there's all of these little secrets around. There's obviously this exterior courtyard in the middle of the map. But that's a very new layout in Dead by Daylight. Um, even the clock tower is there. We've also filled the map with all sorts of surprises and secrets for all of you fans out there. A lot of winks to the Silent Hill franchise. Survivor of the chapter is Cheryl Mason. You might know her as Heather Mason. That's how she was called as the protagonist of the Silent Tree game. Cheryl's a very interesting character. She's a powerful protagonist. She's also conflicted. We uh, and she went day? through the ordeal of facing the Silent Hill nightmare. We learned through the Silent Hill Tree narrative that she is the reincarnation of two souls. So we really wanted to show into her perks this duality and also perks. her link to the dark forces perks. of Silent Hill. Come on. So let's talk about the perks. Soul Guard gives you endurance after being healed or after recovering from the dying state. Dude, that's but also, if you are currently cursed, you can recover from dying by yourself. Cheryl's second perk, Blood Pact, links you to the Obsession. So if you or the Obsession are injured, you will see each other aura. As soon as one or the other is healed, you'll gain the Ace effect for a limited time. And last but not least, the third perk, for the first time, gives the power to the survivor to control a little bit the entity. Repressed Alliance allows you to call upon the entity to block generators. With this chapter and character, we also introduce a new type of cosmetic called Legendary Skins. Legendary outfits are really cool. They are not just an outfit. They actually completely change the character you're controlling. So for example, the first Legendary Skin that's going to appear in this chapter is Lisa Garland. So you'll be able to take Cheryl Mason and transform into Lisa. The killer of the chapter is none other than Pyramided. And he comes to Dead by Daylight with the name The Executioner. And I just want to add something here. The Pyramided that's coming to DVD is the classic Pyramided from Silent Hill 2, straight from the tormented mind of James Sunderland. Pyramided's power roots itself in the dark forces of Silent Hill. So first of all, obviously you have this big, giant knife that you're wielding. And with it, you have a special attack. The special attack is a ranged attack that Whoa. goes even through collision. But where it gets really interesting is that Pyramidad can plant his knife in the ground and draw trenches around the map. These trenches, when the survivor goes through them, will make them tormented. So tormented is a killer effect that at first seems like it's not doing anything. But if you're suffering from the tormented killer effect and you're in the dying state, 
that's where it gets really interesting. So Pyramid Head can, instead of grabbing you and bringing you to a hook, he can decide to call upon the forces of Silent Hill, which will grab the survivor and send him directly to a Cage of Atonement. The cage is similar to a hook in mechanics. The survivor gets stuck in there, he can get saved by others, and he will go through three phases as well until he is sacrificed, just like on the hook. The thing though is that Pyramid Head saves a lot of time, all the grab, the, the transporting, uh, and the hooking, uh, that's done automatically. Dude, that when the survivors are ripe for a sacrifice, if they are caught in the tormented killer effect and in the dying state, Pyramid Head will be able to call upon a final judgment on them. Um, that's a way of Dude, saying that they can kill them instantly. It's like a mini Mori. Now let's talk a little bit about the perks of Pyramid Head. They bring new tools for deception. The first perk, Force Penance, will give the Oblivious status effect to a survivor that protects another survivor from a hit. The Remed Dead's second perk, oh, Trail of so Torment, will make him undetectable like when he breaks a gem. Like it will also highlight this gem in a yellow aura for the survivors. And the last perk, Deadbound, will link a healer to a healed survivor. If they run too far from each other, they'll suffer from the Oblivious status effect. So that's it, that's the Silent Hill chapter. Uh, again, we're super happy and proud to have had the chance to work with such a fantastic franchise. Personally, I'm a huge fan, I'm super stoked to see all the stories that's gonna happen with these characters. I'm, I'm glad that Pyramid Head and Cheryl have a new life into our universe. What's also super exciting is that uh, the PTB with the Silent Hill chapter will be available right now, uh, so you'll be able to download it and try it for yourself. And it's going to be released also very soon. As a last message, I would like to say to everyone, to all of you fantastic community, happy fourth anniversary. Thank you for all your support, all the ideas, all the meaningful discussion that we have online with all of you. Uh, you've been fantastic and um, I'm going to raise my glass to several more years. Cheers. Wow, thank you, Dave. How awesome is that? Okay, so, okay, listen to me, I'm going to say that. If you want to play Silent Hill in Dead by Daylight, if you're on PC right now, the PTB is happening now. You can go press the button and play Silent Hill in Dead by Daylight. It's crazy. Now, uh, for everybody else or the people who don't like the PTB, you can wait until the full release, which is going to be about three weeks from now. We'll give more details as things come along. But if you are uh, eager to get your hands on the Silent Hill chapter of Dead by Daylight, PTB right now. Uh, now, I have to take a second, uh, step back and, and give a huge thank you, a uh, big shout out to everybody who makes this happen. So that's, uh, that's everybody on the team, whether it's the, the programmers, the artists, the designers, the community management team, the marketing people who make sure that you know about this, the PR, the people who are doing the video editing, the capture, the people who are doing all our data uh, analysis every single person that's involved in this project from from close or from far thank you so very much for the amazing work that you do every single day it's really appreciated uh, i think that uh, we can all agree that this is a, a a special team full of crazy passionate people so thank you and then a huge thank you on top of that to to you out there every player out there everyone that is part of what makes Dead by Daylight such a vibrant and exciting community to play in all the time. Thank you for supporting us. Uh, thank you for being constructive and positive and being supportive of what we do. And uh, thank you for following us in this sort of crazy ride that we are on. Uh, we, uh, we are so humbled and, and excited to celebrate our fourth year anniversary with you today. And uh, we are eager to celebrate a uh, few more uh, in the coming years.
um, uh, let me talk about me then. I'm not that disappointed, honestly. I mean, I was hoping for a different, like, killer. But, like, I don't know who I was really going for. I mean, <sighs> I kind of called it. I, I talked to one of my friends, and I said, the fourth anniversary could totally just be, like, Pyramid Head. Because I, 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 I just saw Pyramid Head, and I looked at him, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this this could totally be Pyramid Head. And I was going off of that a little bit, but then I saw, like, other evidence. I'm like, okay, it might be Pinhead. But, like, it's Pyramid Head. Which, I'm, I'm pretty fine with this map, actually. It looks pretty cool. And it doesn't look survivor sided or killer sided. Maybe a little bit killer sided. But like, this map doesn't look that bad. I was like, this elementary map, I don't like. So, that's that's good on how it's actually like, gonna pique my interest, you know? Anyways, I'll get back. <sighs> okay, back to you when I'm in the game. Hold on, hold on. Dude, this looks sick. Uh, it has a server. Oh, 
level, so this could be really good. Thank you. 
тоже бесит.
Well, I like this chapter. I'm gonna play out, I'm gonna play with it a little bit, but I don't have time in this video, so I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.